Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to look back at our TextFun application. As you might have noticed, if we enter uh, some text in here, and we say our name, it changes the label, but our uh, keyboard doesn't go away. And so today we're going to look at uh, how to remove this keyboard. So we can go ahead and stop that for now. And where we're going to start is actually with the view. There's a connect. If we click on the text field, here are the different actions for it. And with the normal keyboard, there's a enter or exit or done button, and that is actually this event right here. Uh, did end on exit and so what we're gonna do like before is just drag this into our view controller and we'll just call this hide uh, keyboard and now when we press the enter button on the keyboard it will enter this method and in this method, what we want to do is actually uh, resign the first responder, and the first responder being the keyboard. So we're going to say uh, user text field, because that's what we called our text field up here. And we want to resign its keyboard, so we're going to resign the first responder. And so now, when we run this, let's go ahead and do that now. When we hit, when we enter, or when we press enter, we should now close the keyboard. Let's give this a second to start up, and we can give it a try. Okay, so like before, we'll just let's say hello. And so now we should be able to press uh, return and the keyboard should disappear. And you see that it did. And then we can just say now it still works. And now let's look at another way to actually do this. Um, some of the keyboards, if we go look at, uh, let's go look at the different properties. So here we go. So there's different keyboard types, and not all of the keyboards actually have uh, that done or return button. Like if we did a number pad or a phone number, it would just be numbers. And another way to get the keyboard to uh, dismiss itself is to actually add an invisible button so that when the user touches outside of that uh, keyboard, the screen will close. And so to do this is actually quite simple. We go and drag a button over. And we're just going to make it the size of the entire screen. Now let's adjust this a little bit. So we'll drag. So you can actually see it, but what we're, what we're going to do is make this um, actually invisible so that we can't see it. And that's pretty easy. Just delete the text in it. And you won't be able to see the button, but there's actually a button there. What we're going to want to do is move it actually to the top of this um, view hierarchy. And by doing that, it's actually saying that this button is before everything else on the screen so when we touch something else we'll actually be touching that button so it's kind of part of the background now and with that button we're gonna have to add or we're gonna have to do another action like before 
So if we select the button, go to actions, and we want to do uh, again touch up inside. And we'll just uh, put it here. We'll say hidden button. And we'll hit connect. And we'll go back to the screen now. And we're going to do the same thing that we did here. And we want to resign, we want the text field to resign its uh, keyboard when a user hits the button. So now when we run this, we should be able to touch the background and our keyboard should go away. Let's say world and we'll click the background and as you see the keyboard has gone away and we can hit our button and our label still changes. So that was just a quick lesson on uh, dismissing the keyboard. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.